Welcome back. You know, the team here at Children's is extremely proud of where they work, and it shows not only in the work they do, but also in the way they talk about this place. After interviewing over 30 doctors, nurses, and staff members, we found such a common bond on why they work here. It's almost like all these caregivers can complete each other's sentences. From the hospital's CEO, Dr. Tom Hansen, right on down the line. This is clearly a, a hospital, a hospital board, and an entire community that wants to have the best children's hospital. And they're willing to devote the resources and the time to make that happen. Children's Hospital is one of those places that draws on the best and brightest uh, in all of the various fields that uh, come together in one place to uh, allow us to take care of the most challenging problems in, in, in childhood, uh, illnesses of of all sorts. The spirit of collaboration here is extraordinary. The physicians and nurses and staff in this institution are really a marvelous uh, group of people. Uh, you walk down the hallway, it doesn't matter who you see, you, you have a smile on the face and a hello. It's a sort of a family um, environment here. All we do here is kids and it makes you excel and so when, when everyone's aligned and really excited about really providing the best patient care, um, you know, it makes everything work very well. We're dedicated to taking care of kids. I think that brings out the best in people. I felt comfortable from the day I arrived. It's just a, it's a warm, inviting atmosphere. The, you have to be impressed by the talents of everyone here and the fact that everyone seems to be motivated for only one thing, and that's to help take care of kids. It's designed for kids. You get that feeling from the very first moment you walk in here and you see what's on the walls, what's on the ceilings, uh, the floors. It's designed for children, the people who work here want to make this a, a positive experience for children. It is just vibrant. You feel, you just feel the passion here for the, the children and good care. Find your motivation for the work you do in research through the children you care for. We try to maintain the caring environment that, that was started 100 years ago. We take it seriously and we don't want to lose sight of that kind of feeling. We um, are strong believers in family-centered care, and that means that we work together as a group, the doctors, the nurses, the respiratory therapists, any other specialty involved with the family to try and uh, choose the best course for that patient and that family. There are roughly 50 freestanding children's hospitals today, but this one is truly unique for so many reasons, many that you just heard. But another is the fact that Children's is actually home to one of the first pediatric pain management programs in the entire country. Back, back. Is that okay if I come in? Yeah. Okay. For kids with pain issues, there is no more welcome sight than Dr. Corey Anderson's smiling face. Dr. Anderson is the director of Children's Pain Management Program. Pain management is a um, pretty new field relative to um, medicine in general, uh, especially pain management for, for children. For many decades, it was thought that children didn't have pain or um, there uh, didn't uh, suffer any ramifications from having pain. The pain medicine was a lot better last night. Oh, good. It was probably in the late 70s, early 80s that people began to recognize the serious nature of pain in children. The long-term consequences of pain are much more serious uh, in children than they are uh, with adults. The therapies have changed very dramatically. It's definitely come quite a ways. Dr. Katie Larkin, one of the other physicians on Corey Anderson's team, concurs. Well, to be honest, there really wasn't much pediatric pain management 20 years ago. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. We use more things, uh, integrative medicine therapies like acupuncture, um, for kids, we've done it as young as um, eight months old, actually. And other uh, integrative medicine techniques like mind-body medicine with biofeedback, guided imagery, um, breathing techniques, things like that. We're using uh, what we call Watsu, or water uh, therapy, where a child is actually uh, taken and uh, they're able to get into a pool and uh, relax uh, with a therapist. 
Other new therapies like acupuncture are also being integrated into the hospital for children with pain issues. Acupuncture is believed to alter your brain's ability to perceive pain uh, less intense and differently, as well as uh, it enhances your body's ability to produce pain-fighting substances internally. When you do press the button, do you feel like you're getting some pain relief after a while? Um, yeah, sometimes when I push the button, it makes it better. Okay. In addition, the other therapies, for instance, we use patient-controlled analgesia devices where a child is able to press a button and get a small dose of pain medication as they need it. So it individualizes, individualizes the therapy for the child. Pain scores and things are just on the cusp of breaking open uh, with the new discoveries in the lab uh, and that to make better pain management for children. One thing's for sure, Dr. Corey Anderson takes great pleasure in working to alleviate pain for his young patients. They've given us the tools to help uh, conquer pain and to make the suffering less uh, for the children here at the uh, institution. Being able to do this job, and the sigh of relief when the pain is relieved, it just, it makes me feel like I've done a really good job. Dr. Anderson also shared with us that very small children who aren't quite talking yet, it's very difficult to know how much pain the child is actually experiencing. He compared it to learning a new language, observing and listening carefully to the child, listening to the parents, and from there he can usually find out where the pain is, how severe it is, and then he's able to treat the child. Coming up, a look into the future and a little more on the past. Research, reminiscence, and robotics are just around the corner when Children's Hospital, a century of caring and hope, continues.